Okay, so this is Tiberius and we're on like this hill and so we've gone up to the wrong place to try to figure out where to find an ATM machine and now we have to go all the way back down and we don't even know if we, uh, we don't even know if we're going to find the right to a place to actually uh, use an ATM because we're out of shekels. But, um, so, <laughs> so this has been um, quite a learning experience because we brought Derek to the uh, bus station and it's just kind of nuts up here and it's getting dark and I want to go back. <laughs> so crazy city on a hill and everything is foreign and I can't read anything. Um, I don't know what anything says. So anyway. <laughs> I'm going, I'm driving in Tiberius in the, as the sun is setting and I am sweating. I am uh, definitely sweating. I'll keep her going just in case. Um, okay. I have no idea. I don't know if I can do this or not, but. Uh, okay, so this is an ex nope. exchange. What does that mean? There's an ATM, it's not, it's like up the street, just a okay. couple of doors. Okay, so where do we park? Or do I? Uh, I'll come with you. To figure out our okay. currency here. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? Okay, so we have these. These are they have a ten on them, but can you see? Those are like pennies. So they have the menorah on the back and the ten. They're like pennies. So you need ten of them to make one shekel. Is yeah. that right? Okay, right. so these are basically worthless, but look how big they are in comparison. So these are these are basically worthless. These are one shekels? Yeah. Okay, so these the are smallest one. the smallest one are, are one shekel. So it takes ten of these to make one of those. Right? Right. Okay. So these are more valuable. These are two shekels. They have the two on them. Yeah. On the uh thing on the back. Okay, and then this is five, a five shekel piece? Mm-hmm. Just five shekel. Okay, and this is a ten shekel. So notice the difference. So we've tried using that for that and people laugh at us. Yeah, so people don't. When we try to use this one instead of this one, I get that. No, no, no. <laughs> so this 
one with the gold and the silver that's a 10 shekels and this one again just uh, plain 10 with the menorah on the back is like a penny okay and then that one's yours Maggie and then this was a half a shekel or half a 50 shekels yeah. put with... them down so, so you can see them all side by so side so this is a Stand for the light a little better they're hard this is uh, 50 shekels right mm -hmm. well what is it a half of a shekel oh it's a 50 cents kind of thing mm -hmm. so this is half of this Right. That's so crazy. The, the small one is big. It's like a dime. Okay. So yeah. here's the other thing. So um, this is a 20 shekels. Maybe do you have, can I see a 100 and what, a 50? Let me get a 50. Here, hold on. Okay. And then the paper shekels, you have uh, a, a 20 paper shekel. And then you have a 50 paper shekel. And then you have a 100 paper shekel and a 200 paper shekel. That's the most we've seen at this point. So when you hand a 20 to someone and your item is say, you know, six, six shekels, they're gonna hand you back that 10 shekel piece. Oh, Maggie's got it. They're gonna hand you back that little coin and it won't feel right. It feels like you need dollar bills back, but they don't do that. So that was something I had to get used to, especially if they hand you back a couple of these and I'm like, wait, did you give me the right? This feels like pennies. But there's the, the one dollar, or one, one shekel. So anyway, we just <laughs> thought we could remember. Just, they've got some paper money and they've got uh, some change. And we're just trying to learn them. So we don't look like stupid tourists when we're in the shuk. <laughs> uh, we still look like tourists in the shuk, whatever. But it was, it was very fun today. Oh, it's adventure, and that's like, that's like relief for my poor brain. So when I get this outside stimulus, it's like this overload. Then my brain is like, yeah, all the sensory input, and I'm like overloaded. It's like an adrenaline rush, and like a high for me. <laughs> and, uh, so it's fun for a while, you know, like riding a roller coaster. It's yeah. Fun. I might want to ride it two or three times. Or five times in a day, but you don't want to live on one. I love firsts. Yeah. And this is an absolute first. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so like everything like is new. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> That one worked. This has been a pain and it's been very hard to uh, figure out how to do this. <laughs> that was hard. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So how many US dollars did you so I think up taking out? Here, hold this. 420? There we okay, go. Okay, so wow, it did let you do more than... Okay. Alright, so, um, trying to use the ATM machine in Israel has been pretty hard. Um, we've tried, we tried several places in Nazareth and, uh, different Arab villages and the banks closed for the in-between days in Sukkot, you have the two high Shabbat, so during that in-between days, they're open only until noon, so we either showed up after that or the ATM machines weren't working. For us, we can't figure it out, but it ends up if you put your card into several different machines, you'll find one that works, but what I had struggled with was putting it into a machine that I couldn't read any English on. So some of the machines start with a button that say change language to English, and then I felt comfortable doing it, but then other times, 
it didn't have that on the first screen, so one of the bankers of one Arab village just took my card and shoved it into that one, and then the English uh, choice came up, and then from there it worked smoothly, um, except for my bank, I had to lift the international restriction off of it, which I thought I had done prior to coming here, but then I had to call, and then I had to call at night, and so we had to wait another 24 hours. So anyway, <laughs> this is definitely tricky, but we finally, in Israel, uh, found a bank that they, uh, that uh, had a machine that worked. At first, the machine didn't work, so we went inside, and the information guy was very not helpful, in fact, very rude, but, and the line is huge, so I'm glad we didn't have to wait in line. So that, I just went by faith and put it in that one that didn't have any Hebrew, I mean, didn't have any English, it was all Hebrew, and then the English option came up, so that was good. Anyway, we're done. Now let's go to play. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>